it's long since i had a free weekend yay i'm so pumped to be free this weekend happy saturday guys my name is jojo for those who are new and on this channel i do show you where you can get affordable home decor items once in a while i do attend the auction and i'm so passionate about thrifting so if any of these topics is of interest to you kindly consider hitting the red subscribe button below welcome to my weekly vlog so today is on saturday and i'm thinking i go check out masai market i'm looking for a unique chopping board that i'm going to display on top of the countertop so what i'm looking for is something that has a lot of detail in terms of grain and uh it should be something dark and maybe something aesthetically pleasing something that you can place on top of your countertop i don't know if they have such chopping boards but the last time i was there they had some unique kitchen wooden stuff so crossing my fingers that i get something that uh, i'm going to like and uh that is it for today so come with me on these weeks vlog and uh see how the week unfolds Hey, is it? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going Okay. Isn't that how much? Be a congee, like any. Hmm. Eh, cause come easy. Naraka kama. Namona mna kama futa. Oh, and they see any dust. Oh, he big size Ningapi. Ah, guy, so my pandisha pay. So discount can patit of Kangapi. That I could chuck a he. Now he around. Ah, discount. 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 
Ah, lakini sasa venye unaifanya nini? Ah, ah. Mimi na namba yako. Mbona uko na vitu nzuri? is a happy monday i hope your week has started off well i did have a good start to my week and uh, i've managed to film two reels today and uh, i posted one on ig so i'm sure if you're following me on diy with jojo by now you must have seen it but maybe i'll do a small snippet over here and i'll link it in the description box below if you've not watched it and uh, later after i finished my shoots i did go to kibira there's a whole industry that uh, deals with bones so have you ever thought where you mufupa after you visit the, your favorite nyamachoma joints where do the bones go to have you ever thought of that so today i went to a workshop it's a whole industry bones industry in kibira but they were not so keen on uh, me filming because um, most of them as i was told they do not like uh, to be filmed but I did get like a small snippet of uh, how the bones are cut and uh, I have one this is a work of art let me show you I got these earrings this I don't know if they are clear maybe I'll do like a close-up a b-roll and I also managed to get a key holder so this is wood versus the bone the bone is it's not clear yeah so this is the bone side and this is the wood side but the workmanship is so nice you can't tell this is wood and bone yani mfupa ya ngombe they even use camel bones yeah yani you can imagine camels they go north eastern so the bones are brought all the way to kibira and you have different people so there's there are some who do the cutting and then the the sand and then the others who cut they join with the wood yani it's like a whole industry over there it's a near olympic so i'll insert a small clip that i did manage to get before i was supposed to stop filming but uh, it's interesting if you walk around yani kuna job za kila kitu i didn't imagine you can have uh, yani earrings made out of bones a whole like industry dealing with bones and uh, mostly they do export so they do bangles you have earrings they are key holders it's a whole thing we have earrings so that was interesting and uh, let me know if you did know that you can get like a cute key holder made from bones or um, the earring so there are so many designs there are black and white there's this white and it has some drain in the middle but i'll do like a close-up and for you to see but uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section did you know these things exist did you know like there's a whole industry for it and i was surprised there's a market a whole export market that deals with um items made from bones that's interesting don't you think another thing is yes i have a kitchen update i did manage to paint the the doors and the cabinets so i'm all set for next week but one i'll i'll think i'll uh, have completed the whole makeover for the kitchen so that's that so for now let me make lunch and um i'll see you some other day bye bye for now hi guys uh, happy wednesday so today's plan is i'm very late so that's why i'm in a rush so today's plan is to go to Kirinyaga Road. I need to do like the coffee sign. So I need to go see the printer, get it done, uh, buy spray paint. There's some few DIYs that I need to do around the kitchen. So that's why I need the spray paint. And then definitely having a salon errand afterwards. But uh, mainly that's uh, the other that, that I wanted to share with you. Yeah, I'm doing the coffee sign and um, 
do, buying the spray paint for their DIYs. So I guess I'll see you guys in town at the printers or at the spray paint shop. The shop is directly Kenya Canvas. So it's on Krinyaga Road and it's called Josmoa Autos. Today is one of those crazy, crazy, crazy days. Happy Friday, guys. So today is on Friday and I have a gazillion things on my to-do list and so little time. So today being on a Friday, today is my delivery day. And uh, mind you, I have been back in since 7 a.m. and now it's 11. I have so many things to pack and uh, at this point I'm just tired so I thought maybe I'll um, just take a break come make breakfast because I've not had breakfast yet and then maybe I can continue packing before the rider gets here good thing today he's a little bit late because I uh, usually he's here by 9 30 and uh, it's around 11 going to 11 30 and he's not here so at least I'll have more time but since the items are so many today I'll have to split them into two, two. and I uh, give another rider to do the ones that are from um, the same roots and then um, the other thing is I'm supposed to be editing this vlog that you're watching I'm supposed to be editing it and uh, upload it by three and then by that three I'm supposed to be leaving I'm going out of town and uh, for a few days and I have not even packed my items that I'm going with and I'm supposed to be living by three so everything that I'm supposed to have completed it should be done by three so I don't know if the, this video that you're watching will be up by three I'm not sure I'll see because I have a few more packages that I'm doing at the moment before the radar gets here and then now I start transferring because I'm using the camera to shoot I transfer the footage from my camera to the phone and that takes a bit of time so I'm thinking by the time I'm transferring the footage I should be packing so at least I can be able to save one time but anyway that's not what I wanted to hop on here and uh, let you know because the last time we spoke was on Wednesday when I had gone um, to the printer to have my coffee sign uh, done but uh, the printer was so busy and he was not able to do it then so i left my pieces of wood there and um, my artwork so i'm supposed to pick them sometime next week when i come back uh, but i'm not sure if i'll be able to film that process because i wanted to share with you how the printer does that so if you're looking maybe how to do such kind of signs you can have an idea how it's done but since i'll just go and pick the i pick the pieces or maybe have the radar bring them to me um uh, hey, so maybe maybe i'll uh, look for another project that uh, i can do with the same printer and uh, maybe show you how it's done like a little bit yes and uh the next thing is i went to still on the same street Kirinyaga road to buy spray paint but hey filming on that side of town was a little bit scary so I didn't take a lot of footage but um, I took a little bit showing you where the shop is and uh, I'll also leave their um, number here my uh, PS this is not sponsored but uh, I've been getting my spray paint from them for so long and um, what I'll advise you is let me show you the spray paint. So this is the kind. This is the brand I get, Asmaco. So this is I got white, I got black, same brand, and then I got in gold. So for gold they do sell it at two hundred and fifty bob. But if you buy many, so if there's gold and silver, those are the most expensive. And by expensive I mean two fifty. So if you get these ones, 
if you get maybe like a number of them they will reduce the price to 240 and this one this one is usually 200 shillings but if you're getting many they reduce it to 180 per can and that so far i have no complaints especially with the golden because this is what i used most of the time i have no complaints i have used this particular brand for so long and um it's good the, and then this is the gold that you it will give you the shiny kind of gold but um since i got a primer from um, builders i'll be using primer for the very first time with this so that i can see if there will be any difference because the gold spray paint that i wanted from builders was not in stock and up until now they have not restocked it so that's it. that's that yeah so i wanted to give you an update because the last time i said i'm going to the printer and then i didn't show you anything at the printers and uh that's why i wanted to explain to you why there's no footage from the printer and uh yeah i guess that's it i'll close this week's vlog here if you did like the video give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and if you're new kindly hit the red subscribe button below it really does support my channel and uh i appreciate it a lot so let me go make breakfast and then i can get back to my to-do list see ya